everybody, and uh, welcome to AFB Gaming, if you're new. Um, today, I know I was, I was said I was going to do the uh, finale to the Daggerfall Covenant, but um, I changed my mind based on upon the fact that I thought a lot of more people would actually like this video, because it was, I don't know, something that uh, most people actually wanted to see. <laughs> so, so uh, I hope you guys like it. It's called uh, Razix Opus. It's uh, how to get the little Dwemer spider pet to follow you around. It's free pet, so you don't have to buy it from the Crown Store. And um, I'm going to show you guys how to get him or her today. And then also it's got like a little bonus mission in there and um, a little cameo from a guild member. So I hope she doesn't mind. <laughs> but uh, if you guys like it, uh, just give it a like. Drop a comment. Give a like for the baby. He's cute. He's a cute baby. <laughs> Alright. Well, on to it then. Okay. So, first I want to show you on the map, um, this is in south, southern, southwestern, southwestern, <laughs> Bankurai. Uh, the location is called Razix Wheel. Um, sorry to those who didn't pick the, uh, Daggerfall Covenant, you guys just, I don't know, should have picked better. <laughs> uh, and I also wanted to, um, apologize because of the, the bad voice quality, I guess, because I have to use my connects because my, uh, my headset's not working for some reason, and, uh, hey, look at this guy, he got, like, matching armor and stuff, They're like brothers, no, okay, <laughs> okay, alright, well, forget that guy, anyway, um, what was I saying, oh, that's right, uh, so, yeah, I have to use connect, so, it sounds a little echoey, and I apologize, usually I use the headset, but for some reason that's being dopey, and doesn't want to do that. So, I hope you guys don't mind. Regardless, we are going to go through this. It's not even, um, I don't even want to call it a dungeon. It's, it's really more of like a small trial, I suppose. Anyway, so you see it says, uh, Razix Wheel Discovered. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, too. Razak? Razik? Razik? Razak? I don't know. Anyway, so here's a little map. Like, like I said, it's a, it's a small dungeon. It's not even like... Well, it's not even a dungeon. I don't even know what to call it. But I was just hoping that it would have, um... I don't know, like, more to it. Not that the, not in, like, the sense of, like, enemies, because... <sighs> let me tell you. Enemies, there's gonna be too many. There is literally, like, swarms of enemies every turn. But, I mean, they're easy, because... I have, like, moves that hit more than one person at a time, which would be a great thing if you have them, but if not, it's still pretty cool. I'm not saying that it's impossible. But, as you can see on my little compass thing, there's another type mission, and it's not a big mission. It's just another, like, a little side quest, I guess, but it gets experience points and some cash, so, well, I, I covered it in the video. Yeah, you don't have to watch to the end, but it covers. Um, here are the notes, notes on Rezek, uh, it's basically, like, you can read it, I gave enough time to, but, basically, uh, this guy, uh, was studying the Dwemer and the constructs, and he figured that, uh, he could make one that didn't, that wasn't binded to the, the location, because a lot of the constructs, you don't see them outside, like, if, if the machines could go farther out than their little lab, I'm sure they would, but this one, specific one was able to do that which will be called Razix Opus. They were hoping to use it as uh, a weapon I believe but I guess they didn't know how small it actually was because it's a little spider but um, this lady here is a scout she basically got caught and got her uh, what's it called mission directives taken away by the people who interrogated her and she basically wants you to do everything for them like everybody else in this place does, but I do it anyway. So basically you're gonna kill two people, you're gonna take the orders back from uh, one of the people, one of the, one of the people, one of the person, one, yeah, I mean, you get the idea. So you take the orders back and you kill them and then whatever. So that's also included in here. 
We need to make sure we recover these orders and eliminate. Also, they say they always say like thank Tal Papa. I thought that was so weird. I guess it's like a it's a red guard thing. I mean, I should know being red guard, but I, I guess not. So um, we're the only ones high ranking enough to bother reading the orders. Yeah, I just I just wanted to throw that in there because she says thank Tall Papa, and at first I thought they were calling me Tall Papa, and that's that's just weird. I, I don't know who would call somebody Tall Papa. Thank you for rescuing me, Tall Papa. But anyway, so continuing the thing, there's a map. You're gonna have to find three keys because the gate that they find only opens with those three keys for some reason, but they're easy to find. So, the first one is actually relatively close. Uh, it's just down a hallway, and then to your right, there's a couple of enemies along the way, and I just kind of included it because, you know, I thought you guys might want to see some type of combat footage. Like, I actually, just before I got ESO, like for the console, I was always, you know, searching up gameplay just to see, like, I don't know, the mechanics and whatnot. So, I mean, you guys can skip it if you really want. I tried my best to not include all of the battle because it was boring and extremely lengthy. But I, I don't know. I hope somebody appreciates it. <laughs> uh, so here's gonna be the first key. Takes you a while to get it, but there it is. And then I'll show you the second key. Just kind of jump a little bit. Yeah, I had to I had to go back to pick up a guild member, but she's here now. Anyway, so you're gonna come through this corridor and I'm actually gonna attack uh, right in the dead center here. Recover uh, what's her name's orders from the spy master get him. It's just an easy battle. Um, I don't wanna say it was too easy, but I did have like four or five people up in me. I don't know. But still, it's not that hard. Just pick him up off the dead body. You don't really get anything Grandiose from it other than her orders, but like I said, enough experience points and stuff will definitely help you out. And then the second key is actually relatively close to there. Just gotta take out another group of enemies, like I said. And then it's actually right in front of me. I don't know if you guys can see it here, but um, yeah, I guess it's the the Mundus, the Aetherius, and the Arbus key. I don't know what the last one is, but. I'm guessing it's like the the Oblivion. I don't know. Anyway, so I just want to do like a couple quick time jumps just to save uh, some people's time because you only have so much. But there it is on the map. Uh, it's at the fountain. It should be the last key, and then the next step will be to go to the vault, and that is, as you can see, on the opposite end of this, which is the second mission. So. I try to do my best to get both if possible, but since this one's a little more important, I just kind of jumped to it. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. So, notes on the door. I think it might have the the way to open it. I just kind of glanced through it and then went with trial and error. <laughs> so I used like, the first key, and if you use it in the wrong order, this is what happens. Yeah. So the correct order, as you can see, is going to be that. Then the last one, I lied. <laughs> okay, there we go. Sorry, I, this is like my first time going through it, and I just so happened to get it on the third try. But anyway, so yeah, you're gonna go right in, and you're gonna have to investigate the vault. Um, I was kind of looking around, but basically you can see in the, in the, what's it called, the little arrow on the, uh, right in front of me, like through the battle, that's where you gotta go first, because that's gonna be what you have to investigate, it's a book. And then you don't really have to check out the rest of the vault, I mean, you, you could, I don't know if there's anything worthwhile in there other than enemies but you're gonna have to find this journal and basically you're gonna have to uh, make a cog out of it you need to get the mold from in the same spot inside the vault luckily it's not not that far see this is what I meant like it's it's too simple almost 
literally right around the corner. Now once you get that, you just gotta go and make the make the cog out of whatever it is that it's made out of. So I'm gonna just do another quick time jump. And you put it into this machine, it'll show you on the map where to go, so sorry I didn't actually show that to you guys, but uh, yeah, so you make the cog and you put it in there. And then you have Razix Opus. So there you go. It's gonna be 328 gold. At least that's what I got. You might get something different. And it'll say collection updated, Razix Opus added to pets. And then for some reason it dies. Don't worry though, that doesn't mean you don't get it. <laughs> you actually do still get it. But um, that's just how it ends. I'm sorry, I, was, I did skip another part. I know I've done that before and I really apologize. But I skipped the part of actually making the cog. But it's pretty self-explanatory. And then I just kind of jumped to here because... This is after you defeat the second person for the secondary mission. I just kind of came out. Um, she's not like a boss or anything. Like she's got like the boss health bar kind of, but she's just your average necromancer. Nothing special about her. Nothing you should be forewarned about. It's pretty simple. Um, but after you kill her, uh, you just kind of run back to the entrance slash exit. Uh, I just kind of fought like two more guys and I just ran for it because I got so tired of defeating people like it just got boring and repetitive but um that is basically Razix wheel well Razix wheel in a, in a nutshell and just let me know in the comments below what you guys think about it what I could have done better or what you thought I did well any type of feedback is, is really helpful, like, even if it's a thumbs down, I'm not saying thumbs down the video, please, <laughs> please thumbs it up, but if you do thumbs it down, and just let me know why, or what I could improve on, but, um, regardless, uh, let me know what, what else you guys want to see, and what else I can do for you guys, but, I guess that's it, so, see you guys next time, thanks for watching. Thanks go to you, my friend, the Covenant owes you a debt. I need to get back to my superiors. With any luck, these bastards will still be disarmed.